Experts recommend three steps to control the spread of COVID-19. Wear a mask, social distance from others, and wash your hands. But that last piece of advice may seem simple enough. Turns out, though, we may not be doing it right. If students get ready to return to in-person learning, we need to make sure our children know the proper steps as well. COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker is here with a closer look at what we're supposed to be doing and what happens if we cut corners. Since the beginning of the pandemic, experts have been urging us to wash our hands more often and thoroughly to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. In some respects, people have improved their hand hygiene. Studies have shown Americans are now twice as more likely to wash their hands after sneezing, coughing, or blowing their nose than they were before. According to the CDC, though, that may not be enough. In fact, they recommend we wash our hands after a lot of daily activities, such as cooking, changing a diaper, playing with our pets, or even taking out the garbage. Even if you have been following those guidelines, there may still be work to do because how you wash your hands is just as important as how often. The CDC recommends five different steps for proper hand hygiene. First, get your hands wet. Second, cover them with soap front, back, and between your fingers. Third, scrub for at least 30 seconds, including underneath your fingernails. The fourth step, to rinse thoroughly. And finally, dry them off with a clean towel. These UV photos show what happens when you eliminate any of those steps. The first picture shows before washing, then a quick rinse and shaking your hands off, and rinsing for just six seconds with water, but no soap. The lighter areas show where the germs have been left behind. Viruses cling to the skin and water alone is not powerful enough to remove those germs and it runs right over them. Soap helps break down the virus molecules so the results are much different. Take a look at what happens after washing just six seconds with water and soap. After 15 seconds, even more of the germs have dissipated. After 30 seconds, the majority of the germs are actually gone. And a recent study in Japan actually revealed that coronavirus was able to live on human skin for up to nine hours. And that could explain why this virus is capable of spreading so very quickly and so far. Now, something as simple as spending a little extra time at the sink will help protect you and the people you love. I'm COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker reporting.